Yes sir, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and today we are back with another Ultima video. So for today's video, man, we are going to be starting the SER conversion on the Ultima 3.5 SE. Now, for those of you guys who haven't been paying attention, I recently acquired this 2006 five-speed V6 Ultima been a great car so far, but one thing that I hate about it is it's just too basic. So for today's video, we're going to be taking the front bumper, the rear bumper, the trunk, as well as the tail lights off of this thing. And they will be getting replaced by this Ultima SER front bumper. And we are going to go ahead, throw the SER rear bumper, tail lights, and the trunk on if I have time. I'm going to be swapping out those muffler tips just to give this thing a little bit of a nicer look. But I've been trying to find time to do this little conversion for quite a while now. And I just haven't had a ton of time with work. Um, I've been busy doing other projects for a few of my friends as well as just doing a little bit of maintenance around the house. So in today's video, we're going to be doing the full exterior conversion on the Ultima 3.5 SE, man. Let's get into it. So first and foremost, we are going to start with the two front bumpers since this is the easiest part to remove out of everything, I guess, aside from the trunk. I already had this bumper off uh, just so I could push the car in the garage to where it is right here. But you're basically going to have one, two, three, four, five, six clips here. If you do have the splash guard, there's probably going to be uh, eight or ten clips along the front here. And then along the side, you're going to have a 10 millimeter bolt right here and a 10 millimeter bolt right here, both of which I have already removed, like I said, to get this car in the garage. So we're going to start with the front end here. Um, now, this car here does have projector headlights, so I'm going to be keeping the projector headlights. And I'm also going to have to find some way to secure that lower grill because it looks like it's almost falling off. But we're going to cross that bridge once we get this bumper off. I am going to be keeping the grill that's on that car and taking off this chrome bezel and plasti dipping it. I don't know if I'm going to do that today, uh, but just for future reference, I will be blacking out the grill. And I almost forgot, you're going to have two Phillips head screws on the bottom here holding the, the splash guard and the fender well on. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Figured I'd throw that in here. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, so both bumpers are off here. Uh, I'm just going to investigate back here. Looks like just a screw came out there at the top. It's not even broken, it's just not there. So I'm going to go ahead, screw this grill back in so it's not flopping around there. Uh, I'll probably take that grill out and throw it on here for the time being because the chrome on this. Just starting to flake a little bit. Gotta remember to swap over my plates. Now there's a piece of styrofoam that goes right here that I didn't have the last time I did this swap. Goes right here uh, just for the bash bar. As you can see, it says SER on it. This is gonna help stop the sag that you're gonna get underneath the lights here. So if you can acquire this piece of styrofoam, I would suggest swapping it over. Pretty simple if I can find the proper hole. Story of my life out here. Just like that. And that's gonna help any kind of bumper sag that you're gonna have. So I'm gonna take the SER bumper, swap it over to the car, and uh, we're gonna move on to the rear, man. Alrighty, so we got the front end conversion done here. Also relocated the plate uh, just off to the side. Had that on my last Altima, really liked it. Now I haven't swapped the fender wells just yet. I'm going to wait till I take the wheels off of this car. Probably going to be buying tires for this set of wheels right here because, you know, as much as the 17s right here look okay, these wheels are really growing on me. So I think I'm going to keep this set of wheels here, throw them on this car, but now we're going to move to the trunk, and then we're going to see if we can tackle that rear bumper, man. All right, so I ended up pulling the trunk liner here. Had to pull the wiring harness out. Those are the license plate bulbs. Uh, one of these sockets right here, I think, is for the rear mount taillight um, off of the SCR. So what I'm going to do is just install the trunk, and then on a later day, 
we're gonna go ahead and hook up that third brake light. Alrighty, so the trunk has officially been swapped, as you can see here. Replaced the carpet. There was actually a plug on my wiring harness for the third brake light, so I didn't have to splice anything in. That's good. I'm pretty sure this one's still gonna work, so I'm gonna have a lot of brake lights, but maybe I'll take this bulb out. But I'm gonna make sure that uh, before I close my trunk release works, can hear it clicking back there, so that's a good sign. And now we're gonna just drop it and see how the alignment is, that fitment, and this thing needs to be shifted over this way quite a bit, so I'm gonna undo the bolts, reposition it, and uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so just reposition the trunk. I actually had a screwdriver in here as well, so that's probably what that noise was. And there we have it. Let's get some light on this. The SER trunk has officially been bolted up. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do now is go ahead and throw the tail lights on. Now this tail light right here has a little bit of a chip on it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to like get a lot of money for these. It'll probably just be worth it for me to keep them. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead, swap the tail lights on here uh, in place of these chrome lights. Actually, the chrome lights look pretty good with that black trunk, man, not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead, swap the tail lights out, and then if we have time today, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start on the rear bumper, but chances are uh, that'll probably be tomorrow, I guess. Alrighty, so I just got the tail light off of the 3.5. Uh, that's the SER tail light, took that one off, but what I'm noticing is there's actually a clip right here that I'm gonna have to take off in order to remove the rear bumper. Uh, so what I think I'm probably gonna do is just go ahead and do the bumper right now. So I'm gonna pull the SER bumper off of that car and then we are gonna mount it to the rear of this car. Alrighty, so rear bumper is off of the SER. As you can see, another styrofoam insert also marked SER. So I'm gonna swap that over once I get this bumper off. I'm gonna work on getting this one off we're gonna see how it looks. Alrighty, so 3.5 SE bumper is off. That actually took quite a bit longer than I was expecting it to, but they're both off. And as you can see, this piece of styrofoam right here is quite a bit thinner than this one right here. So we're gonna be taking, like I said, the SER styrofoam off, putting it underneath the bumper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install the bumpers. Now on this side, I had the clips actually break in a few different spots, but on this side, as you can see, we still have this tab and this tab actually wasn't rusted. I think this bumper was repaired uh, sometime recently. So I'm gonna take the clips off of this bumper and then put them on this bumper. Alrighty, so rear bumper is on. Obviously, uh, we're working with a mismatched color here, but I still think it's gonna look good once we close the trunk. Uh, if you're coming up on it from behind, you probably won't even see the silver until you get beside it. Uh, our Bumper gaps here, not entirely terrible. Um, there's a few little clips here. This one's actually still popped up. Clips under here, how to use a zip tie here, and then this side again, not the worst ever. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead, install the tail lights, and then I think I might mess around with the mufflers, uh, just get the tips off of that car, and then weld them onto this car. And um, I think that's gonna be about it, but I'm gonna go inside, grab a bite to eat, and we're gonna be right back. Alrighty, the rear end conversion is complete. As you can see, we've got the rear bumper. Let me turn this light on real quick. As you can see, we got the rear bumper, uh, SER trunk. We also have the SER uh, smoke tail lights. Now, I'm not sure if these are OEM. You can kind of see a little bit of a line here. I, I don't, I can't really tell you. But what I'm gonna do now is hack off the muffler tips on here. Uh, I'm gonna probably be doing just a resonator delete for the time being, see how that sounds. Um, but for now, I'm gonna put the muffler tips on just so it looks nice. And then we're gonna put an end to this video, bruh. Alrighty, so I just had to turn the car around so that I could get my welder to reach the tips here. Uh, so I got both the tips cut off of the SER. Basically what I did was cut them off with a hacksaw. Mufflers are still on this car, but I'm pretty sure that they're the same 
as the mufflers that are on this car. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, get out the welder, tack those tips on, and we should be good to rock, man. Alrighty, so just got the muffler tips welded up. I stuck them out, I'd say about an inch, just for a nice, aggressive look. And as you can see, that is what the rear end looks like. We got the tail lights bolted up, uh, that bumper, the trunk. But what I think I'm going to do, it's getting a little dark outside. Uh, is I'm probably going to cut this clip right now. And then tomorrow when it's nice out, I'm going to take this thing, give it a quick uh, scrub down. Because these bumpers, uh, the two black bumpers in the trunk are a little dirty just from being on the car and sitting so long. But yeah, with the magic of editing, you guys won't have to wait. Alrighty, so it's the next day. I don't know if it's windy here. I'm kind of in a little crevasse here near this building. But I wanted to show you guys in the daylight what the car looks like now and here we have it so as you can see we got the ser front bumper on there uh got that yakima roof rack yakima looking dope and as we pan around the back you can see the ser rear bumper we got the tail lights on we have the trunk on as well as the two muffler tips um so all in all this whole conversion to what you see right now took me about four hours uh, i still have to take the fender liners off of the ser and swap those over uh, but i'm going to do that on a later date once i get the ser tires off but as you can see definitely cleans the look of the car up quite a bit it feels nice to not be driving such an old man car right now um, now obviously i am gonna have to do a paint job on this car in the near future for those of you guys who are paying attention to the unveiling video i'm thinking either red white or maybe like a lime green or something like that but as it sits right now looking uh much better than it was even though it's not one color it's a bunch of different colors uh i still think the overall look of the car uh, has definitely improved from where it was before but i'm thinking we're going to put an end to this video this is going to be like part one of the ser conversion uh, i have decided i'm going to be doing a full black interior swap on this car as well uh, i think i'm going to be keeping the ser seats and seeing if i can get them in the infinity and if i can get them in the g35 we're going to be taking the g35 front leather seats and then swapping them into this Altima. Now a few other things I do want to take off of the SCR is obviously the black trim here. I uh, was going to do the side skirts, but one of the side skirts off of the SCR actually has a crack near the back. So unless I can repair that and make it look decent, uh, we're probably just going to leave these stock 3.5 SE side skirts on. But as it sits right now, I think this thing is looking 10 times better. That front bumper much more aggressive than what was on there uh, prior to the conversion. So if you guys did like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed yet and you wanna see more Ultima content, uh, definitely stick around. Like I say, we got a whole bunch more stuff that we're gonna be doing. Gonna try to get the coilovers on. Um, I don't know, within the next couple of weeks of me uploading this video, so definitely stay tuned for that. But the wind is picking up here just a little bit, so I think I'm going to put an end to this video. As always, I am your boy Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. How are we going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man?